Losing oneself in a relationship may seem abstract at first glance, leading to skepticism from logical thinkers and pragmatists who argue, how can you lose yourself when you're physically present? However, if you have personally experienced it, you understand its profound impact. What are the indications of losing oneself in a relationship? While losing yourself in a relationship doesn't involve becoming a ghost or physically detaching from your body, it does mean losing the connection to your inner self, the desires, wants, and needs that define your uniqueness as a human being. Here are some clear signs that you have lost that inner connection within your relationship. 1. Acting, thinking, and communicating in ways that you believe will gain your partner's approval and desires, rather than expressing your true, authentic self. 2. Consistently disregarding your own needs and desires within the relationship. 3. Feeling a sense of being dragged down by the relationship. 4. Frequently seeking happiness from your partner instead of finding contentment from within. 5. Losing interest in your own hobbies, goals, and dreams while prioritizing your partner's interests instead. 6. Discomfort with being alone, preferring to spend time with your partner even if it means engaging in activities that don't resonate with you. By the way ladies, if you are really serious about learning the secret of how to make any man obsessed with you, we highly recommend checking out the first link in the description of this video it's a professional and powerful psychology guide that helps you win him over even if he wasn't initially interested in you why do we experience the loss of self in relationships the answer lies in attachment we become attached to our partners believing that they can fill the void within us it is an addiction rooted in the false notion that they hold the key to our inner emptiness according to many spiritual teachings this sense of emptiness originates at birth. While in our mother's womb, we feel complete and whole. However, upon entering the world, we are separated from that feeling of oneness, and the remainder of our lives is spent in pursuit of reclaiming that sense of wholeness. It is our own desire for what feels good, and we chase after that feeling in the form of our partner. In some cases, your partner may have initially made you feel incredible in the early stages of your relationship. You experienced a sense of being wanted, desired, loved, and whole. However, akin to drug addicts resorting to theft to sustain their habit, you continued chasing that euphoric feeling even when it faded. Believing that your partner held the key to bringing back that positive sensation, you kept running towards them, unaware that you were actually moving farther away from your true self. Furthermore, your upbringing and relationship with your parents or primary caregivers may have influenced your behavior. From a young age, you might have adopted the habit of acting in ways you believed others wanted you to act. In an effort to please your parents and gain their love and acknowledgement, you learned to decipher which version of yourself garnered the most approval. Rather than embracing your authentic self, you played a role to win their affection. Unfortunately, this pattern repeated itself in your romantic relationships. Another factor to consider is what psychologists refer to as insecure attachment. This implies that your primary caregiver was unable to meet your unique physical and emotional needs during infancy. Consequently, you learn to suppress your instinctual needs and desires, deferring them to your caretakers and loved ones. As a result, you unconsciously repeated this pattern of submission in your romantic relationships later in life. Rediscovering your authentic self. Now that you have a deeper understanding of why you may have lost yourself in your relationship, the question arises. How can you reconnect with your internal needs and find yourself again? The answer lies in practice. Make a daily practice of getting in touch with yourself and connecting to your own needs. Here are some helpful tips and tools to guide you on your journey of self-discovery. 1. Ask yourself each day, what do I need today? Take a moment to reflect on your needs, desires, and intentions for the day ahead. 2. Check in with yourself throughout the day. Consider how you can address your needs while attending to various activities. 3. Take the time to genuinely listen to yourself and prioritize your own best interests, independent of your partner's needs or societal expectations. 4. Practice regular check-ins throughout the day to assess your needs and desires in the present moment. If you often find yourself prioritizing your partner's needs over your own, pause and consider how you can create a more balanced approach within the relationship. Remember, 
This journey is about reconnecting with your authentic self and honoring your own needs and desires. By practicing self-awareness and self-care, you can reclaim a sense of empowerment and forge a path back to your true essence. If your own parent was unable to meet your personal needs and you sought direction from your partner, it's time to step into the role of being your own caregiver. 1. Allow yourself space to explore life. Give yourself the freedom to discover and experience new things without judgment or limitations. 2. Recognize and appreciate your accomplishments. Acknowledge yourself for a job well done and celebrate your achievements, no matter how small they may seem. 3. Cultivate true compassion for yourself. Extend kindness, understanding, and forgiveness to yourself during challenging times or when you make mistakes. 4. Embrace unconditional self-love. Accept and cherish yourself wholeheartedly, embracing all your flaws and strengths without conditions or self-criticism. 5. Take the time to understand yourself and how you navigate life. Reflect on your strengths and weaknesses, allowing yourself to grow and learn from your experiences. 6. Advocate for yourself as your own best supporter. Speak up for your needs, desires, and well-being, ensuring they are met in a way that aligns with your best interests. 7. Discover your uniqueness and acknowledge your individuality. Recognize your inherent value and show yourself how special and deserving you truly are. By becoming your own nurturing guide, you can create a foundation of self-care, self-acceptance, and self-love. Remember, you have the power to provide yourself with the support and guidance you may have sought from others, allowing you to reclaim your sense of self and establish a fulfilling relationship with yourself. Finally, for you ladies, if you think understanding men is hard and want to heal your relationship forever, then you should definitely learn how to trigger their hero instinct. The best way to learn about this amazing psychology is by checking out the first link in the description right now. It's a powerful psychology guide that will teach you exactly how to make a man fall in love with you using reverse male psychology.